Okay, in this question, you can see that in the figure below, not drawn to scale, PQRS is a parallelogram. Okay, first thing you need to know about parallelogram is that you need to start to draw the two arrows on line SP as well as line RQ. Why? Because this is to show you that this is a parallelogram without the need for you to go back to the question again to figure out where is a parallelogram. So this is what we meant by you need to process the information and the question. And normally we draw a single arrow to tell us that RS and QP is a they are parallel lines. And with these four arrows, it tells us that RSPQ is a parallelogram. Alright. Um, I know that I have done many, I've written many numbers on this figure. So just ignore them first and just follow the steps. Okay, so what do they want? They want you to find angle PQY. So normally what we do is we want to shade the angle that we need to find so that so that from a single glance you know what you need to find or where you need to work towards too. So this is part A and this is part B. So part A. Because we already have 1, 2, 7, so a lot of times we need to work backwards and figure out so where does all these numbers that are already given uh, and how can they lead us to the answer. So here goes. So SZQ, where's SZQ? SZQ is over here. And because this is angled along a straight line, so you can find SZQ uh, by minusing 90, uh, 97 from 180, which is 83. So this 83, this is um, this one. And these two angles are the same because this is a parallelogram, okay? So, let's see. This one, two, seven as well. And then, again, to solve an angle question, there are many ways. So, uh, this is a live video, so I will just make do with what I can think of right now. Probably you can find a faster way, so let me know, yeah? So, angle ZQR. Angle ZQR is 127. Um, nope. Angle Z, ZQR is, in fact, in this weird four-sided um, trapezium that is, already, that is made out of two triangles. Can you see triangle one and triangle two, yeah? Triangle one, triangle one, and triangle two. And what is the sum of two triangles? Um, they are actually 180 times two, which is 360, yeah? So 360 minus of this, minus of this, minus of this, and minus of um, this 83 to give you 97. Okay, so ZQR is 97. And probably you may ask me, how did you find uh, 53? I was just experimenting just now. Um, so I took 180 minus of 127. In fact, the sum of these two angles are 180. Okay, so once you have found this, uh, to find PQY, to find PQY, we just take the whole 127 minus of this one to get this one, okay? So this is part A. Next. How do we find YPS? YPS is over here. Again, as I am explaining, I realize that there are some, there are some simpler, simpler steps, but never mind, I will just make do with what I have. So, um, let's look at step one. QXP, where is QXP? QXP, QX, QXP is over here. Because now I have this, I have this, I can just take 180 minus of 30, minus of 26 to get 124, all right? And this is angled along a straight line, so I can take 180 minus of 124 to give you 56. And because this is an isosceles triangle, these two angles are the same, right? All right, and we can just and then the thing is, part B is made out of this and this. Again, take note that they are not half. Yeah, they are not the same. So, 
to find this small angle, uh, what can I do? All right, again, let me just go back to the step. Okay, um, to find this angle, I know that these two angles are the same because this is, these are particularly opposite angle. So this is 83, yeah, 83. So we have 83, we have 56. To find this angle, just take 180 minus of this and minus of this to get angle B, which is here. 